Well, hello, people. This is Sonic Seventy Three Two, and welcome to the next part. Let's play Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. So, in the last episode, we uh, did some cell fights. We fought some androids, and yeah, in today's episode, we're gonna be starting off in the cell games. All right. And you know how before I was saying how if you guys thought Cell in his perfect form when you first fight him in the island was hard? You have not seen this fight. I am telling you guys, this fight is a major middle finger to all everyone who was hoping for a decent challenge. The start of the fight. You have to fight Cell Juniors. Now, th that doesn't sound too bad because, oh, you know, they're Cell Juniors, so they're really obviously weak. But, the Cell Juniors in this game, in this fight specifically, they will not stop shoot key blasts at you. I swear. At th um, in this video, you don't really see the key blasts like flying over this place because um, this is like my I'd say my seventh time doing this mission, so I know how to avoid the key blasts with everything I can. But the first time, I the first few times I did this mission, there were key blasts flying all over the place. I swear, I could not go two feet without getting hit by one and flying halfway across the stage. It was that annoying. And that's one of the reasons why I really do think that they kind of went a little too overboard with the challenge level in this game. Because seven people up against four guys. I mean, four against seven, that's not that bad. But when your AI will not revive you. And you're just left on the floor dying. And you really, really need all the recharge you can. It could get really annoying. And also, um, before I continue on, you might notice how on the start of this level, it showed Trunks as the character I'm going to be playing as. Well, um... As you can see, um, when I first recorded this episode, I kind of um, maybe uh, started this level off tr as Trunks, hoping I could get some good results, but I kind of ditched that because Trunks was really getting me nowhere. So I decided to um, switch to Goku, like maybe like a few fights later, and that's why I'm playing as Goku. And now we're finally still perfect for him. Now, at first, I... Oh, no! Yeah, at first, he could be kind of tough, but if you know Goku's awesome, mega super duper awesome... Destructo move, which I kind of just made that um, name up, but yeah. So Goku's main best move, actually, in my game in the game about Super Saiyan Goku's is his R2 special. So as you can see, if you ever, whenever you do his R2 special, he punches his enemy right in the chest. Now, if you keep repeat, if you keep pressing the R2 button after you pull off that combo, he's able to pretty much take his enemy to the skies and slam them down. That might seem like um that might seem kind of like a really useless combo, but trust me, if you perform that that move, the RT move, along with your normal combo with the triangle button, it could deal at least a quarter worth of damage to your opponent. It's essential if you want to get anywhere with this fight. In my opinion, this is what I would do whenever you're going for this fight. Just become Super Saiyan Goku and use those techniques, and bam, you're done. Now, Cell is a perfect form. Now, in this form, he gets considerably harder, and he has a new ultimate attack. Just like with Android T in the last fight, dodge to the left or right whenever he does his ultimate move because it will deal a lot of damage at you. And whenever you think his ultimate move is done, don't go straight up attacking him because right now he also he will shoot the ultimate beam in another direction that will get you. So Cell second form is something to write hold him back about kind of. So he pretty much just like freeze up and Goku he will non stop move. That makes him a considerably amount harder. But if you do get him, though, you can deal a lot of damage to him, especially with that combo I have. But other than that, he does he does a lot of damage with his ultimate attack. Sometimes with his key blast, he does a considerable amount of damage. But other than that, I mean, like, if you just keep using that technique I told you guys, you'll pretty much have no problem with this. I mean, he's this guy's hard, don't get me wrong, but ever since I found out this move, he's, he's gotten a considerably amount easier ever since... Oh, Synchro 2, perfect. I love you, Fuse. Yeah, that's no problem. That's not probably And I, yeah, yeah, he. That's right. He blocked it. Yeah, the um, your earlier on your enemies will actually get a lot smarter and start blocking your ultimate attacks. So if you've been relying ultimate attack on ultimate attacks for like the longest time in this game, you might want to reconsider that because they'll start blocking it and it gets really, really annoying. And I hate it. Screw you, enemies, especially Cell and Majin Buu and Majin Vegeta and whoever else blocked my attacks. And guess what? I'm d oh, pick that's oh, that's right. Piccolo actually gets and Super Saiyan Gohan is knocked out. I don't know whether or not I get him, but do I? Gohan. Oh, that's right. At this point, I really don't even care because Ryan's doing actually pretty good. <laughs> oh, never mind. I <sighs> kind of just went down. So um, yeah. Uh, I was I was trying to segue into this like different topic, but I kind of 
<laughs> I don't know how to segue into it. So, actually, yeah, I'll just segue into this right now. So, my my goal for Battle of Z is to record as many... Oh, jeez. Ah, I got hit by the ultimate attack. But, yeah, my strategy for Battle of Z, I have to record as many episodes as I can because... Once I'm done with this, especially this is post-commentary, it takes a lot longer than live commentary. Because for live commentary, all you gotta do is record your voice while recording the, um, uh, recording your video, and just edit it there. But with, uh, lot with, um, once it go with post-commentary, you gotta actually edit the video to your fullest extent. And, oh, double Super Kamehameha! But sadly, did nothing, but yeah. So, and, and you also gotta record the post-commentary, which is considerably amount hard. And that takes a lot longer than just recording live commentary. So I gotta record as many post commentaries as I can. Because up until this point of recording, I'm basically, I think, I passed halfway done with this game. So all I gotta do is just record more post commentaries and then I'll be good. Because this this is the month, I'm recording this during the month of February, like the beginning of February. And if you guys are like legit gamers out there who will try anything, any kind of game anyone gives you, you guys will know that there are a lot of good games coming out in February. You got um, Bravely Default, which up until this point is coming out this Friday. You got Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns, which for most, people, for most people they won't really give a crap. You got One Piece Romance Dawn, and I'm a big One Piece fan. Uh, they're pouring a PSP game into the 3DS, so yay. Um, you got the Tales, um, HD, Remix, uh, HD Remastered, and we just completed the mission. Luckily though, thanks to my technique, we somehow managed to get past this mission, so yay. So you got the Tales HD Remaster, which I might consider again. You got Castlevania Lord Shadows 2, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, and pretty much that's the um that's those are like the only games I can actually think about that are coming out in February. I know there might be more and I don't really want to get into detail, but yeah, right now, in this fight, we're actually in the future where Chunks is from. So if you guys remember in the anime, like at the end of the Cell saga. Trunks goes back into the future and he takes on androids 18 and 17 and destroys them. Then he fights Cell and then he destroys Cell. This is basically, uh, I guess you could say, an abridged version of the fight. So yeah. So we got the Z fighters in the future. Somehow. Yeah, I don't know how this thing works. But either way though, just like the last few fight, just like the last fight with Android 17 and 18, they're not that hard. I mean, just take, just do, just follow the strategy. Take out 17 first. And then focus all your time and energy into actually wait, no, I think my strategy might actually be war uh, yeah, that's right. Uh <coughs> oh. I'm sorry about that. That's why I forgot 17 actually blocks. So take out 18 first and then go for 17. Even though it looks like 18 just blocked right there, just go for 18 and then go for 17. Because like un unlike 17, she blocks, but she does rarely. But with my technique, you easily take her out as oh wait, oh. Yep, 17, 18's out. Now just gotta go for 17. So you see, these guys aren't really that hard. Especially with my strategy. They're pretty much toppling down like dominoes. Alright, um... I guess that's really everything I have to say about um, this fight up to now. Once we actually fight Cell in this mission, I'll have more stuff to say. But yeah, going back to the games that are coming out this um, month. Yeah, all those good games. And, well, I'm recording this LP at the time being. So yeah. So after this LP, I should also mention this. So after this LP, I'm gonna be taking a like maybe like a two week break from LPs because I I just really want to catch up in my own time. Just want to play some games, relax, and sell. Yeah, somehow sell managed to get into his perfect form. So don't ask me how that's possible. Well, probably be, probably he absorbed the remains of Android 17 and 18, but I have no idea how he managed to become his perfect form in this future. But yeah, whatever. Either way though, this guy is nowhere near as hard as he was in um the previous fight. So this guy goes down with relatively no effort. So, that's pretty good in my book. Oh, okay. Okay, I need another sip of my Fuse. Yeah, guys, try out Fuse. Fuse, you can thank me later. Okay, that was not good. And according to this, Piccolo is almost down. So, yeah. Let's continue the strategy. And you see, this guy's already on, on like three-quarter health. That's, that's how good the strategy is. Is that muy bueno? And I don't even know why I decided to use that, but and why not? Why not? All right. Yep, does a lot of damage on this guy, and I think I'm gonna go for the most epicest finisher ever. Puya, nice, right in the chest or back, or wherever I hit him. But yep, I just did um, what's it called, a punch in the stomach, and he's dead. So now I think we are done with the main Z fire route. Nah, the Z fire route for this um for the Cell Saga. So I think we're going we're gonna be going to the Androids route. So like the uh, like the previous um, sagas, the androids' route is basically what if the androids won, 
And yeah, so Z fires pursue. So now we gotta fight Krillin. If outside of my memory, we gotta fight Krillin, Yamcha, Tien, and I believe Piccolo. I don't know, but yeah. So you so they're basically just searching for androids. Yep, there's Piccolo, and we appear out of the sky again. And look, 18's in his yellow co not 18, 16's in his yellow costume. You guys might be wondering why is 16 in his yellow costume. Well, um, funny story. This is actually my second attempt doing this mission because the first time I chose 18, biggest mistake ever. And I decided to go with 16 for a second time around, but apparently something went wrong and 16 went to his alternate costume. So either way, 16, I love 16. This guy is basically the main reason how, oh, especially when you can't run the base. This guy is the main reason how, why I was able to beat um, the androids um, root in um, the, this story in general. So 18's main attack, he is pretty much good for long range. His first, his first combo is that he shoots his arm at you, to, and which is an uh, incredible distance. And he and he's able to attack you once his arm shoots you, once his arm gets you. I don't know if that was a good way to explain it, but it's something like that. So my first my strategy for this guy for this fight, take out TM because he will heal he will heal his party and it could get really annoying after like the twentieth time when he heals your party and you're just like, What the hell's happening? Wait, I didn't say he heals your party, I meant he heals his party. Either way though, just focus on your combos, do as many damage as you can to TN and you're basically good. Anyway, these guys don't really take a lot. Of th these guys don't really have that much good at defense. Okay. Wait, where's... Oh, that's right. Yeah, also I've been really noticing that lately my right analog stick hasn't really been working that much. So there will be times during this fight where I try to, tar I, where I try to target one guy, but it just targets another guy. And it's really stupid. And I think in the next episode I somewhat fix it, but I don't know. See, now we're going after Yamcha. This should not really be explained. It's Yamcha. He's gonna die either way. Wait, Yam. Wait, I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. Yamcha died a few times. He died the Cyberman and when Kid Buu destroys the Earth. If I, if I don't, if I, um, yeah, that's the only times he dies. He almost dies during the Android Saga when Doctor Jiro impales him. But other than that, yeah. So he's died two times. Versus Krillin, who's died like, let's see, you got, he was, he his neck, his neck was snapped in the first series. He was blown up by Frieza. The kid Boo the plant was destroyed. And if I can, I believe that is it. I think he dies in GT, but I don't really remember what happens. And Krillin's down. Oh no, Krillin's not down. Booyah! And now Krillin's down. Now we just gotta go after Piccolo. Basically, Piccolo is like the Goku of their team. So he will take a lot of hits to get down. And perfect. Now do we get? I wait, no, we don't, I don't think we get a max chain. Yep. Lately, I haven't been able. I haven't been really been able to get Max Chain a lot in late lately. And oh, do I get him? That's right. He blocks it. Yeah, Piccolo. Okay. Here, wait. Booyah. Okay. So I think we're actually nearing the end of this fight. Oh, we, oh pretty much the rest of this fight is just me pulling off combos on Piccolo, and that's really all there is. So um, let's see. Interesting topics. Interesting topics. Um. So guys, how about that weather? Today in New York, it snowed like crazy. Actually, not today. Um, yesterday in New York, it snowed like crazy, and it's complete hell to travel. That's really, uh, that's really all I could say. Okay, yeah, just saying. Just saying. By, that, by the time this episode gets uploaded, I don't know when we upload, but yeah, up until this day, which is the fourth, I believe, in New York, it snowed like crazy the day before the third, and yeah. Either way, uh, yep, no one can reach us in time, and do I wait? How, how do I kill him? How do I defeat Piccolo? Booyah! <laughs> and also, I think his arm was in Mitch Stretch during that time. So, fun fact about me recording this. I finished out with this mission in the original episode, and I, I just call it a day. But I did see that there was... That it was only like 14 minutes. So I'm just like, well, that's kind of short for an episode. Let me record one more mission. So this next mission I record like two days after. So Calm and Pure Evil. So now we will be fighting Goku and Vegeta. But this is also a very similar to like, I guess you could say when Goku fought 19, Android 19 in the show where he became Super Saiyan, he tried fighting 19 but he was running low on energy because of the sickness. So um, he had to go back home, he could be a Gohan or, I forget, wait, how did Goku get home? Oh, it was Yamcha. Yeah, Yamcha brought him back home, finally he was useful, but yeah. So now we're going to be fighting Super Vegeta and Super Saiyan Goku. And that's really all I could say, just fight them. 
So for this fight, for, so for this fight, maybe about like a minute in, Goku pretty much be swapping out mainly because of his sickness. So I would just do all the damage you can on Super Vegeta, but apparently I did not know that, so I did a lot of damage on Goku. But either way, if, even if you try doing something on Super Vegeta, it's really bad. And also, if you notice, Goku's health is actually draining. That that's actually I think I think it's draining. I don't know, but that's actually a really good um, attention to detail since during this time he had the sickness. And plus, he takes a like I think double the damage now because also the sickness. So that's actually a really good um, attention to detail. And no one's gonna get me up. I think is someone gonna get me up? Oh oh oh, oh wait oh no ah uh, oh yep there we go. There goes Goku, the chest. Ugh, my chest. What's happening? Yeah. What's happening? Yeah, Goku, wipe it off. Ah, I love you, Fuse, so much. It's like heaven. Alright, so yeah, now you got Piccolo, just like. Yeah, it's the sickness. And Goku's like, ah! Yeah, this is like, um, what's it called? Yeah, this is this day also. Um, they're also to this part in um the TFS of Bridge Parody, and oh my gosh, it's so funny. And yeah, this is one thing I really didn't like about this cutscene. So you finish a cutscene, like ten seconds later, they activate another cutscene. Why couldn't they just continue this cutscene off of it, like right off the other cutscene? Why did they have? Why did you get like a ten second break and then the cutscene started? I don't. I just don't know why. Either way though, now we got Go, Go um, Team Gohan and Piccolo. Luckily though, these guys are a complete joke. Just do my main, just do the main strategy. So my main strategy for Android 60, I should probably mention in the last mission, is to do your regular combo and then press RT or LT because they either way, Android 18's attacks are really, really good. They they actually deal a lot of damage now that I think about it. But yeah, so now we just gotta take out Piccolo, Booya, and great. Yeah, Super Vegeta will knock out a lot of your teammates via what's it called? Um, his Big Bang attacks, and they are really annoying. So I would definitely recommend saying Super Vegeta for last, so you can pretty much just focus all your time on him. And sadly, they just sent him away because I really wanted to pummel him. But yeah, anyway, now we gotta fight Goku, not Goku Piccolo. Yeah, booyah! The so yeah, Android team will either charge or shoot his arm at you. I recommend the charge attack, which I believe is RT or yeah, I think it's RT, because it actually does a considerable lot of damage and plus is a lot more quicker to recharge rather than just shooting your arm. Surprisingly, Piccolo actually managed to live, and Piccolo's dead. Now we can actually just go for, and yep. Yeah, Super Vegeta really is kind of annoying when it comes to knocking out your teammates with his super, with his ultimate, um, not really ultimate attacks, but more like RT and LT attacks. I'm guessing you can call them special attacks. Oh right, yeah, at this point, right now he's just shooting a ton of blasts at me, and it's really on my last nerves, and he killed me. <laughs> now does someone get me up? Hopefully someone, oh, oh yeah, Andrew, um, Cell actually gets me up. Alright, um, that's right, get Android 18 now. Time to play the SmackDown Super Vegeta. <coughs> Ugh, that was awesome, Burp. Alright, now at this point, I really hold nothing back at Super Vegeta. I just go all out on this guy. I do every combo I try. I take out a considerable amount of his health. And honestly, I felt like such a boss while doing this. The guy who's taken out so much of my teammates during this fight, I was able to manage to pummel into a crisp. And he takes me out. Now does someone get me up? Because that would be... Yep, no one gets me up. Ugh. And, wait, do I manage to save 18? That's right, I don't manage to save 18. Crap. Do I manage to save Android 19? Yes, I do. So now we only have one retry, and... I think we, I think I end off this fight with actually zero retries, which is actually really, really risky. But I don't really know. And, great, he teleports. That's actually one thing that this game really doesn't even tell you. How do you teleport? Because honestly, I see all my teammates just teleporting all over the place and it really annoys me. And I pretty much say, you know what? Screw it. I do an ultimate attack. And he blocks it. And booyah. Now do I... Wait, how do I end this guy off? I think I... Oh, yep. I just ended off like that. And he crashes right into a rock. And the way he lands is really weird. So, guys, if you like what you see here, like, comment, subscribe, do what you want. I'll see you guys in the next episode. So... Peace out, peoples, and um, a bear.